on the International Space Station. Lots of excitement as the entire student body at Brentwood Magnet Elementary School of Engineering in Raleigh connected to talk with NASA astronauts aboard the International Space Station with an amateur radio in Belgium. The school selected to take part in this program. It's a little bit like your old school ham radio. Before the space talk between students and astronauts, NASA educators talked about the importance of STEM fields. It's a partnership between the ham radio and NASA, so it makes the connection between the radio signal and the International Space Station. And we've had to do a lot of explaining with our kids as far as this is not a Google Meet, this is a different kind of communication, but it's been really fun for our kids to start to understand it. Then once connected, the students in Raleigh asked question. What made you decide to become an astronaut? After question. What do you do for fun while you're in space? After question. What kind of exercise do you do on the ISS? All voted on by the entire student body. What was your favorite class when you were in elementary school? Is it scared to travel or live in space? What I loved about this was they got to hear that the astronauts have problems when they're on the International Space Station. And that's what we do at Brentwood is we solve problems. We're engineers. So it's really good for our kids to see no matter where you are in life, even if you're an astronaut on the International Space Station, you're going to encounter problems and you're going to have to solve it. An out of this world lesson for these students about engineering in space. So cool. This is one of the best things I've done in my life. How their body reacts when they get to Earth. I thought when they get to Earth, they feel kind of weird. They're not used to it. Taught by those living it 254 miles above Earth. Brentwood Magnet Elementary School of Engineering is one of only nine in the country selected by amateur radio on the ISS to take part in this year's program, and they're the first elementary school in our district to participate.